guys, it's me, Teacher Doyle. In our today's video, we will talk about the geometric sequence. So, last time meron tayong video with regards to arithmetic sequence, tapos yung nth term of arithmetic sequence, as well as the arithmetic series. So, ang target natin ngayon is to talk about the geometric sequence at yung iba pang subtopics na under ito. So, kung bago na sa channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para lagi mo makita yung mga videos na upload ko with regards to mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's define first what is a geometric sequence. Geometric sequence is a sequence, again, is a sequence of non-zero numbers where term is found by multiplying the previous by a fixed number called the common ratio. So dito ra sa geometric sequence, para makuha mo yung mga susunod pang terms sa isang geometric sequence, you need to multiply it by a fixed number called the common ratio. So, elaborate natin what is common ratio. Pero before yan, puntahan muna natin yung example natin, which is 1, 2, 4, and 8. Again, 1, 2, 4, and 8. This sequence is an example of geometric sequence. So, pero puntahan muna natin ito. Ah. As you can see, the first term is a sub 1. This is your a sub 1. Ito naman, yung 2 natin, this is your a sub 2 or your second term of the geometric sequence. And your a sub 3 is 4. Your a sub 5, a sub 4 is 8. Now, based on the definition, sabi dito, um, where term is found by multiplying the previous by a fixed number. Let's say, for example, from 1. I to observe. From 1. From 1, it became 2, it became 4, it became 8. So, we will think of something about where the multiply. What do you think is the number we need to multiply from 1 to make it 2? So, obviously, that is times 2. Okay, we have 2 as your second term. Now, let's go with the second term. To get the third term, your second term is 2, and this is the third term. To make it 4, we need to multiply it by 2. So as you can see, we need to multiply it also by 2. And it will become 4. Okay? Now, this is your third term. Your third term, which is 4, to make it 8, we need to multiply it by 2. And it will become 8 as your fourth term. And as you can see, we have a time fixed number na ginagamit or pinamumultiply to get the next term of the geometric sequence, and that is 2. Itong 2 natin is your common ratio. So, gamit yung common ratio natin, guys, we can know or we can predict what is the next term. What is the fifth term, what is the sixth term, and what is the seventh term. So, let's try, let's try finding the fifth term. The fifth term here is by multiplying it by your common ratio, which is 2. And it will become 16. This is 16. Okay? And to get the next term, 16 times 2, it will give you 32. And to get your, uh, this is your 7th term, you need to multiply the 6th term, 32, by 2. And that will give you the answer of 64. So, ganito yung ginagawa nito, ganito yung pattern ng ating geometric sequence. Ngayon, ang tanong dito, sir, uh, is there a formula to find the common ratio? Yes, we have a formula. And the formula to get the common ratio, okay, the symbol for the common ratio is small letter r. The formula is simply a sub 2 over a sub 1. Let's try it. If we can get this fixed number or the common ratio which is 2 and that is 2 divided by 1 and the answer is 2 and let's try another pair of terms for the a sub 3 over a sub 2 your a sub 3 is 4 your a sub 2 is 2 and 4 divided by 2 it will give you 2 as you can see we have the fixed number or the common ratio which is 2 ito yung formula natin ang pattern lang natin uh, puntahan mo yung mga sumunod na term. Let's say, for example, you will focus on uh, the fourth term. The fourth term. 
divided by the third term, and it will give you again the answer of two. Okay, so we're done with the definition and observing the pattern of geometric sequence as well as the common ratio. In the next part of our video, we will solve or answer some problems with regards to geometric sequence. Now let's have this problem. Find the next three terms of the geometric sequence 3, 9, and 27. So what you will do here is, guys, the first thing you need to do is to find first your common ratio. Okay, to find the common ratio, basically, since this one is declared as the geometric sequence, I think formula natin, R is equal to A sub 2 divided by your A sub 1. Again, R is equal to A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Your A sub 2 is equal to 9 over your A sub 1, which is 3. And definitely, your R is equal to 3. This is your common ratio. And next step natin is we will use the common ratio to find the fourth, fifth, and sixth term. So how? You will find the fourth term by multiplying the third term, 27, by the common ratio, which is 3. Or pwede natin gawin dito pa ito sa formula, a sub 3 times the common ratio. And that will become... 27 times 3, okay? 27 times 3. And that will give you the fifth term, or the fourth term as, what's the answer? 81. This is your fourth term, okay? So we can extend this, and let's have here 81. And now to find the fifth term, your a sub 5. All you need to do is to use the fourth term, a sub 4 times r. Your a sub 4 is 81 times your r, which is 3. Okay? So it will give you the answer of a sub 5 be equal to 243. Again, 243. So this is your fifth term. And for the sixth term, sky. Sixth term, a sub 6 is equal to 2. a sub 5, we will use a sub 5 back, times the common ratio, and your a sub 5 is quite big, that is four, 243 times 3. And multiplying this, 243 times 3, we have 3 times 3, which is 9. 3 times 4, that is 12. So 2 carry 1, 3 times 3, 6 times uh, plus 1, that is 7. So our a sub 6 is 729. This is the answer for this question. We have the sixth third, which is 729. That's it, guys. I hope you learned something from this video because this one is quite important for you to have a good foundation when it comes to the introduction of geometric sequence. In the next part of our video, sa next na upload ko, I'll be discussing uh, geometric means and geometric series. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gong. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!